Welcome everyone to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, welcome everyone to another episode of Jim and Java. I'm always excited to be here to address your questions, comments, concerns that you have in the area of development and fundraising. We are building a community of life changers, individuals who are interested in making a difference in our world and changing individuals' lives. So every week when we meet together and we talk, it is really important that we address issues that will help you make a difference. And I know that this area of development and fundraising is never easy for anyone. Uh, I, it's always my hope and desire to move you from the point of seeing development and fundraising in, in, as a necessary evil to maybe to the point that you really enjoy the relationships and the areas of focus with relationships that make a difference. And that's where I have gotten over the years. I've really found that building relationships with people is really the key. And that what that's what makes a difference and helps me to be able to sustain the years of doing these efforts that I have been able to do. So I'm excited that you're here. If you like what you see, please be sure to subscribe. We'd love to have you as a life changer in this community. So let's dive right into our question of the day today. Our question of the day today is from Kay in Kansas City. And Kay asks, what has your experience been with establishing a mentoring buddy relationship between newer and more seasoned board members in addition to orientation provided by the staff. Well, I can tell you, Kay, that having a good, solid board that works together, that is unified in its mission, vision, and values, and the direction that the organization is taking is so very critical. And bringing on a new board member can change the dynamics of an organization very quickly. And that dynamic is sometimes a real tipping point for an organization. When someone comes in who has a different mindset, not just a different perspective, but a different opinion comes in with an agenda, Things can change the dynamic of a board very quickly and very easily. But having someone who is there as a mentor, a buddy, with that new person coming on the board is so important. I'm glad you mentioned the staff involvement because it is so important in any successful board that I've ever been part of to have a onboarding process, a process that talks about policies, procedures, how often the board meets, what are the steps to making a decision, how do we come up with consensus, a unanimous decision, how do we handle dissenters, how do we give input, how do we find that very tight balance between being involved in the decision-making, setting direction for the organization, but not overstepping our boundaries and getting into the day-to-day -day operations of the executive director or president. Because that individual is hired to help to move the organization along in the day-to-day -day operations, but too often, board members will step in and will want to really weigh in on the day-to-day -day operations of the organization. And that really causes some problems. So having a board chair who knows how to lead out, can mentor, can model, is so important. But also having a buddy, someone who takes that new board member 
under their wing and helps to mentor them and allows them to learn from their mistakes. When someone has been on a board three to six or more years, they learn certain things about the board, about the organization, about the executive director, about the dynamics, as I mentioned earlier, of the board. And it's important that in the onboarding process that the new board member learn a lot of those kinds of things. It's not to put those people in a box and say you need to only move within these rails, but it does give them a direction for how to go and which way to proceed within the organization. And it allows that board member to be able to understand the practices and procedures. I would look for a buddy or a mentor who is very similar, either in the same profession as that individual, or look for a buddy or mentor who's the same age or has similar feelings, and or poss- quite possibly even has known the person before. Maybe they go to the same church or in the same community or neighborhood. So it's really important for those individuals to be able to bond together and for that person to guide them along the way in the new process. Joining a board is never easy in the beginning. It takes time to get to understand how decisions are made, what works, what doesn't work, and what maybe you are bringing to the business world may or may not work in the nonprofit world. All those things need to be guided and helped by a buddy or a mentor. So, Kay, I hope that answered your question. It's a great question, and I hope that you can incorporate a mentor or buddy system within the board that you're involved in or that you're asking about. So, thank you very much for that question. Those of you who are part of this Life Changer community want to make a difference in individuals' lives and make a difference in the world, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. We're investing a lot of time and effort into our Facebook group. Please join our Facebook group and be sure to go out there so that we can work together on on our items. And I'm just so thankful that you are joining along in this journey. Uh, If you have any questions, please go out to Twitter at DebFStrats. Use the hashtag Jim and Java. Reach out to us and Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies. And of course, if you need to reach me, email at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. And as always, I hope that you will make a difference in our world. If you want to know how to have a better conversation with a donor and make more money than ever before, watch this video. And as always, we're here to help you increase income, and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.